How's it going, kids in the hall? We are talking about a new episode of Steven Universe. This is part of the week of new Steven Universe episodes, the Steven Bomb 2, the Stevening. And today's episode, we are going to talk about uh, keeping it together. And this is primarily a uh, Garnet episode. A uh, quick uh, synopsis. Um, the gang decides to go looking for Peridot. Uh, they suspect she might be in the Kidna Garden. Well, duh. Uh, duh. They find her in a very funny scene, actually, between her and Steven. Uh, they give chase, but she claims that she's already done what she needed to do. And so, Sayanaya, suckas. So, that leaves Garnet and Steven to investigate while uh, Pearl and Amethyst uh, give chase. Um, that's when they discover the horrible secret from what uh, apparently the Gem Homeworld did, is they forcibly fused dead gems, crystal gems. Um, and as uh, they attack, they actually try to physically rip apart Garnet, uh, but she's able to overcome it. Uh, that leaves uh, quite a few conversations between uh, her and Steven, and also a look into uh, the personalities that really make up Garnet. Uh, this is quite an intense episode, actually. It's almost what I dare say uh, another look into body horror, uh, but from a family-friendly sort of uh, place. Uh, it also does kind of dig into how 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 deplorable <laughs> the Jim Holt world is in their attitudes towards fusions and. This is possibly, uh, Garnet suspects that this is punishment uh, because the gems they discover that this has been done to were crystal gems. That means these are possibly people that Garnet knew uh, and they're now this kind of horrible suffering monstrosity uh, uh, in, in death. Um, and it, it's pretty, it, it's obviously, it's obviously unnerving because one of the things that really kind of gets to you is it it does uh, emotionally affect Garnet, and she's usually the one who is pretty stoic no matter what. Uh, we're used to seeing the other gems freak out uh, over even tiny things, uh, but this was kind of serious and kind of unnerving for Steven as well uh, to see. Uh, I also like the fact that we actually, for the first time in the series that I can name, uh, we can actually identify Ruby and Sapphire as she talks to Stephen about, and even to themselves, uh, which is nicely acted by Estelle. She performs e each of the different uh, uh, characters that make up Garnet uh, while still being Garnet. Uh, this is interesting uh, to see them kind of, possibly because they were split up or because this is such a direct effect on them, Oh, uh, and it, 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 it's, yeah, one side of her comes off angry, the other one is just emotionally uh, <laughs> stricken over this. And, uh, yeah, you do have to, uh, I, I don't know if you can really dig into uh, the subtext uh, outside of body horror and, uh, you know, being uh, forced fusions and, Garnet has this uh, speech at the end about, you know, how there was nothing natural about it and nothing like, you know, natural fusion. So it does make me think about, you know, the implications of what that, that was. And actually, I needed to kind of process this. I would have recorded this last night, but uh, I really needed to think about that. And, and it's actually, some people can probably... Uh, criticize a show like this for addressing this subject uh, but I, I don't see anything wrong with like it, at least in a gentle gentle way kind of get across this idea uh, that something like that is, is wrong and is unnatural and is not part of uh, what really is um, it definitely is a uh, uh, you know, it's so funny because there's some really funny, cool moments in it, like the the fight with Peridot. Uh, I particularly liked uh, Pearl knocking down the the huge driller thing uh, to 
and knock out uh, Peridot. That was kind of awesome. And of course, Peridot's uh, escape is quite good. I, I I don't know who portrays that character, but she she has a lot of fun playing that character. Oh, uh, this is an excellent episode. This is fantastic. Um, and definitely a really good, solid uh, dig into uh, who Garden is, and also how bad the gems view fusion. And you know what? I, I've suspected since the Jailbreak episode that there is probably a, um, a prejudiced uh, towards uh, fusions, and I think this episode uh, makes me think that I might be right on that kind of feeling, uh, that there's this there's probably this hatred and bigotry towards uh, uh, fusions, and they have this attitude towards it. Uh, not to mention this vindictive, evil way of punishing uh, those that st stood up to the Champolm world during the uh, uh, rebellion. Uh, like I said, great episode. Uh, I enjoyed it uh, quite a bit. Uh, what are your thoughts on the whole thing? And uh, let's see, just you know, anything you want to say, uh, leave it in the comments below. And I am going to be doing uh, another review in just a few hours uh, for the next episode, so uh, keep an eye out. Push button, Lindsay.